Well, UNC basketball fans still waiting for the Tar Heels to flip that switch and go on a late season run just like they did last year. But the players starting to run out of time and they have a big game with first place Clemson coming up this weekend. Now last year, if you remember, the Tar Heels lost to Wake Forest. They were at a crossroads. They then won 17 of their next 20 games and got all the way to the NCAA tournament final. Well, Carolina lost to Wake the other night, so the players are hoping that history will repeat itself. I remember this point last year, it was around the same time, we lost the Wake Forest here, and uh, we decided to turn it around, and we did turn it around. We've been uh, lacking in the fast break point department uh, recently, and we decided to get back to Carolina basketball, and that's rebound, run, and uh, just do things that made North Carolina successful for so many years. I feel like we've gone away from that just a little bit. One thing the Heels don't want to repeat is Clemson's last trip to UNC. The Tigers picked up their first ever win in Chapel Hill, breaking that 0 for 59 streak. That last meeting was in 2020. So we'll see what happens when they tip it off tomorrow at 2 o'clock in Chapel Hill. It's going to be a real interesting game. NC State also on the road. They'll be at Boston College for a noon tip off. ECU in the Big Easy at Tulane. That's also a 2 o'clock tip. Duke, their road struggles. Well, they'll try again when they're at Virginia at 4 o'clock. Wake Forest back at home against Georgia Tech and UNCW at Trask Coliseum at 7. We're two days away from Super Bowl 57. The teams go into sequester this weekend. We now know this year's MVP will be playing in the game. Patrick Mahomes won the award the other night, getting 48 of 50 first place votes, beating out his Super Bowl counterpart, Jalen Hurts. It's Mahomes' second MVP in six years. Now he wants to win his second Super Bowl title. If you look at this list of quarterbacks that have won two Super Bowls, it's not a very long list. And so uh, I, I not only want to do that, but I wanted to get two Super Bowls for Coach Reed um, because uh, obviously he's one of the best coaches of all time. But the same thing, the coaches that have won two Super Bowls um, is a very short list as well. Of course, Andy Reid is the former Eagles coach. That's one of the big storylines we'll be watching this weekend when the game airs on Fox Eastern Carolina Sunday, 630. High school football, congratulations to Wallace Rose Hill star Xavier Pearsall, the lefty QB signing his letter of intent to play at Mars Hill in the western part of the state. That's also the alma mater of ECU football coach Mike Houston. Pearsall was a dual threat who also played defense, so we'll see where he suits up for the Lions in the fall. But he likes that blue hat and will wear it proudly. You can catch the rest of your ENC sports at our website, WCTI12.com, including a closer look at some of the Eastern North Carolina connections in this year's Super Bowl. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.